Hey guys, I wanted to share a software program with you that I just found tonight. I had actually purchased three previous data recovery programs online. Um, cost me well over $100 for them and none of them done what I needed them to do. None of them found the files that I was needing to recover. So first of all, let me tell you what happened. Um, we moved into a new house and before we moved in I wanted to make sure that my computer was all set up and ready too so I decided to do a, a reformat on it and I did and before so I saved all of my needed files to an external hard drive. Um, after I got everything set back up in the new home I found out none of the files happened to save to the external hard drive for some reason. And so now that my computer was completely formatted um, I had lost uh, hundreds upon hundreds of files that I really needed for my business and also for uh, my church as well. So in the process of searching for software um, today I found one that works and it works very well and I just want to share it with you today and hopefully if you have the same problem if you've um, deleted files by accident if you've uh, formatted your hard drive and you're not able to recover those files I'm going to show you how you can get those files back so in your browser I want to direct you to a website called save my files dot net so that's save my files dot net and this software is made by a company called Perito Logic and I have to tell you it is by far the easiest and the best data recovery software I've ever used and what's really neat about this is unlike the other ones I purchased you can download it for free uh, try it make sure it can find the files um, before you purchase it uh, so you'll know if it's worth your investment or not so now I've already downloaded it but what you'll need to do is just uh, click the free download download it to your computer it's a very small file once you do that you'll have something like this here and you'll just want to double click it and go through the process of installing it now I've already installed it so I'm not going to go through this but um, that's why it's asking me to repair or remove it because I've already got it installed so you want to go ahead through the process and install it and then once you do you'll see an icon on your desktop that looks like this launch data recovery and that's what we want to use so let's wait for it to open okay here we go now what's neat about this is it gives you several options I haven't tried none of these I went straight to the advanced and I saw where it had all my hard drives listed here and I was like wow this is really cool very simple so I unchecked all the ones except for the one that I reformatted which is my main C drive and I left all of these checked because I wanted to make sure that it found every file that I had on there whether it was uh, from the reformatted partition uh, from a corrupted hard drive sector even if it didn't have any names or if it was left in the recycle bin for some reason or another so after clicking advanced I just leave checked the um, the drive that I want scanned and then I click on uh, start scan and if you look over here you can see these numbers just going up by a hundred hundred and it's up to 700 already if you look over here you'll see how they how they neatly have it organized by images documents audio video text HTML files compressed files presentations folders binary files and other files so it even neatly organizes all this information for you so you don't have to go digging through all of it to find exactly what you're needing uh, for example for my church I was there was a lot of lessons that I had taught on and I was looking for them and so once I click documents um, immediately here are uh, the files that I was that I had on my desktop for it um, along with a lot of others too so so far it's up to 116 documents 651 images 453 text files um, the other files, I'm not sure what all those are, probably mostly just uh, computer files that's, that won't do me much good. I was more interested in getting the images, the documents, text files, HTML files, um, and also presentations. Those were the ones I was looking for. 
and as you can see it's only about I don't know 20 percent done so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and pause this video just briefly for a second and then we'll uh, we'll come back to it as soon as it's done okay and after about 10 minutes we now have 17,633 files that it's found and so I'm just going to check this box make sure all these are check marked and it's telling me the file re, uh, the file recovery location it's going to be on my desktop in a folder called recovered items and I can change that if I want but I'm going to go ahead and leave it and click recover and now there's 2.26 gigs so this will probably take a while for all of it to be recovered but that's all there is to it this is an excellent excellent tool to use um, and just remember the web domain for that is save my files net and hopefully uh, the problems you're having with recovering files will be solved as well so thank you for watching this video and good luck